Oh my God. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome to Going Nuts with Glenn and Gracie. <laughs> I'm Glenn the Baker. I'm Gracie the Comedian. What the hell was that? What? <laughs> hey, I was sick this weekend, so. Yeah, Gracie got sick. Oh, uh, uh, wow. I don't you, know what I did. You didn't eat any of those uh, Beyond Nuggets, did you? Mm -hmm. Oh no, you tried those Beyond Nuggets? <laughs> oh, did they give you the shit? I tried, uh, no, they didn't, but uh -huh. um, look, these this Beyond food, I was gonna watch a documentary and then Gracie said, Don't pay for that. Yeah, you know, just wait shit. wait for it to for it to come out on Amazon Prime or whatever. Yeah. For it's free. called Beyond Impossible, basically. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's um what sorry, you got like hair right there. What do you mean a bunch of bullshit? The documentary or oh. what they're talking about? Oh, the, bon the Beyond stuff. Anyways, yeah, I mean, it's like uh, some pretty negative stuff about Beyond Meat. But the thing is, is like, okay, look, it tasted fine. It tasted good. Like a nugget? Yeah, it tasted like a nugget, but... What were you eating, though? Did you, like... It you was it was a whole bunch of wheat and soy, and it was, you know, pretty much unhealthy, or it was way, way less healthy than an actual nugget. Yeah, because soy isn't good <clears> for men, right? Does it make you guys scare? It was or just something? like so. It, well, yeah, kind of. I, well, I don't know, but anyway, or like, <laughs> that's a whole other show. But yeah. it's just you know, all that all that wheat. I mean, it's, all, it's nothing but a bunch of carbs, and oh, okay. then they uh, you know add so much uh, seasoning. So sodium is super is sky high. Anyways, it's healthier to eat real chicken. Oh, okay. You know, like a good idea. It, it's healthier. It's just the whole idea of, you know, well, you know, I don't eat animals. I haven't tried any of the Beyond stuff. The only thing I tried is when you bought um, Carl's Jr. Beyond Burger and it was what, $9 for the stupid burger. That's the only time I've tried it. But I, I my, my sister was dating a guy that was a bitch. Uh -huh. And she would always buy that kind of stuff for him. Uh -huh. So she ate, so she bought, since they broke up, she still had some of the shit in the freezer. So she was making it. She's like, try this, try this. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to try it. Look, I, I mean, I can't, I can't lie. I mean, th those nuggets were good. I mean, you know, I, I ate the whole damn box. And, and were they <laughs> cheaper or are they more expensive than the red? Uh, they're more expensive. Oh, okay. Okay, they're more expensive and, you know, they're, they're not, they're not healthy. No. So it's just a okay. question of, you know animals and I love animals you know I love all animals but you know especially the del delicious ones you know <laughs> hey, oh you know what there's Sorry. A, there's a new restaurant Sorry. Have, I don't know if you've gotten by there yet but you know right there on Lakewood next to Sizzler Sizzler, Sizzler. wow Sizzler. this sounds promising I, know. So I know, can't wait to hear this restaurant next door to Sizzler in Downey I, I try to catch the sign today um, but there's like a new restaurant and it looks like a cow on there. So it looks like a, it's a meaty restaurant. I'm not sure what it is. It's a meaty restaurant. That price there's meat. Downy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wish I got the information if I would have pulled over and you uh, I could have. Well, this you. is typical of Gracie. Hey, guess what I heard? And then it's like you ask and oh, well, I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm kind of, I want to see. Gracie, I, I, I got a show coming up, guys. When is it? I don't know. I don't remember. I was going to tell you we should try it. When it opens. Okay, well, let's or figure out what, what it, it is. is. Yeah, then by next week, this we'll mystery try. restaurant. Yeah, well, I'll, we'll let you know what it is. Okay, and how about the McDonald's secret menu? Oh yeah, we gotta try the secret menu. So, it's kind of gross. It has like hamburger patties and a flail fish. So Gracie shows me pictures of, of the this, hacks. this McDonald uh, hacks. Yeah, McDonald hacks or secret menu, and I'm like, where the hell did you get this? And it's apparently it's on the app. Yeah, you don't have McDonald's app? I do not oh, have the McDonald's gosh. app. Free French fries, sometimes two Big Macs for like three dollars. Oh my God, it's a great app. Okay, well, I still won't download the McDonald's app. Why? But this is where you find the secret menu? Yeah. Okay, so she showed me pictures of like uh, the surf and turf. Okay, McDonald's has a surf and turf. Yes. What could that possibly be? A filet of fish and burgers. Yeah, it's filet of fish and burgers. <laughs> And then they have something that's called land, air, and sea. What would that be? A filet fish, and I don't know what the others would. <laughs> the land, I guess, is the uh, what was it? Land, air, and sea, or something like that. Yeah, land, air, sea. It's the, a burger, a uh, chicken patty, oh, and, shit, it, yeah. and a filet of fish patty, all in one sandwich. <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't know. We're gonna try that shit. Oh, and they're not even cheap. Fifteen dollars for two of them. Each of them are like fourteen ninety five or something. Yeah. So two of them are like almost fifteen dollars, and then the other ones like seven dollars or eight dollars. Wow. So they're not even cheap. 
That's like a that's like, fifteen I don't bucks. That's like a gourmet sandwich. Yeah. Like fucking. And I just told him, he goes, why, "Why don't we get all of them and try it?" I go, "I don't want to spend fifty dollars at McDonald's." The hat, the pastrami at the hat. How much is is that? Has it gone up? Because it's like it, ten bucks, isn't it? Yeah, it was. Almost ten bucks by by now. Well, last it's always time, been I think 10, it was like five. seven or eight. Or no, five. when we used to go with seven or eight, then the last few times I've went, the past few years, it's been ten ninety. So it's gone up. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. Maybe we'll try some of these. Uh, secret yeah. menu stuff and look don't go away guys in part two of this episode oh yeah gracie's gonna make me do the girl scout cookie challenge well it's okay? walmart it's walmart versus girl scouts and i'm gonna blindfold him and he's gonna have to figure out which is the girl scout and which which is one comes from walmart. the actual girl scouts and which one comes from walmart because that's know, the challenge it's because he's a pastry chef so he has a palette of yeah. pastry I mean, knowledge. Yeah, I'm gonna nail it, all right? Okay, uh, you know, well, uh, place your bets now. <laughs> and in the second half, you know, we'll see, we'll see uh, how many I get. Anyways, it's March, all right? It's, we're, it's we're, we're already in March, but when they see this show and hear it, it's, it's gonna be March, March uh, Friday, March, whatever. Yeah, do you like um, McDonald's Shamrock Shakes? I haven't had one of those since I was like eight years old, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. What are they? Is it like mint? I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's a like green. Okay, mint. so is it's that... It's green. It's a green. Is it's that green. what we're going to do? We're going to go get shamrock shakes and the secret menu, the well, surf surf and turf. We'll just get one. We don't need to get three. Just get one? Yeah, we'll just get one sandwich. I mean, they're yeah. 15 bucks. You're talking about two sa two sandwiches for $30. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and our budget, we don't have a high budget here. No, I, I mean, that's budget. crazy, right? But we will try one. And why'd you bring up Shamrock Shakes? I mean, because we were talking about McDonald's, and you're saying it's March. You know, March next oh, week. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Sorry. And if my eyes like droop because I have been sick for two days, Lynn like just overlapped that. <clears throat> yeah. So Gracie got really, really sick. I mean, it was yeah. something you ate. Was it food I have poisoning? No idea. It was this 99 cent store food. I don't know what happened. But anyway, I was sick all night on Friday, Saturday night. Uh huh. All night. Oh my gosh, my stomach. I had. I was sitting in the toilet oh, this with is, this is the great. trash can on my lap. That's how bad it was. You were sitting on the toilet with a trash can, so you were just going out of all places. Yes. Basically, wow. I think I don't know if that was Poor Friday, Gracie. Night, Friday night or Saturday night. I don't know. And, and what do you anyway, think it was? I have no idea. Wow. Probably. I, I, I've been kind of narrowing down what it is, but maybe I took too many pills. I think well, so. Well, pills do it? Because I took some Tylenol for my pain in my yeah, arm. Yeah, and then you then took, took sleeping this, pills. I took a new sleeping pill, and I thought, oh, I don't know if that one's going to work, so I took another sleeping pill. And then you take 100 vitamins on top of that. Well, too, I, I do that in the morning. But then I, I had some, like a, a weed. I charged my little, um, you know, the, how you, that's, what do you call it? The little machine, and you can smoke oil. Oh, some vape? Some vape. And so I had a vape that I um, had for a long time, like a really long time. And I hadn't opened it, so I thought, oh, let me open it. So, I, and that's when I called you. I go, hey, is this gonna make me stay up or go to sleep? And you said, oh no, it's gonna make you stay up. Mm -hmm. So I took one hit of that. So do you think that would have, if it was maybe spoiled? Maybe does oil get spoiled? Yeah, it gets old. Oh, does it? It gets old. You, oh, should, so you should get rid of it. And the stuff you, you're talking about, if it's the one I'm thinking about, the stuff's like eight years old. Oh, is it? Really? <laughs> You got that at like a comedy show uh, <laughs> that the chronic uh, yeah. dispensary yeah, exactly. was throwing or something yeah. like that. And anyway, I don't know if that's what got me sick because I only took one hit, not one. Mm. So anyway, I was really sick. You took one hit, not one. I mean, I just took one. Or maybe you're, you're you mean you took one No, you can't. Hit. No, I wasn't not choking. Not just one. No, I wasn't choking. Okay. That was fine. Well, I'm glad you feel better. Yeah, I feel better. I mean, I was supposed to go to the OC record show on Sunday. I was really excited, and then Gracie said she was going to go too. Yeah. And then she got sick, and then I'm like, well, I don't think I can go because uh, my dad got uh, sick. You know, his uh, knee got swollen, and then his whole leg was swollen. As yeah. soon as I saw it, I'm like, you know, is there, you know maybe that's gout. Because, you know, I know he's had gout before. Oh, he has had gout before. Yeah, and, okay. and you know, he had gout like 30 years, over 30 years ago. Oh, wow. And he's like, no, no, no way. It can't be that. And anyways, it was pretty bad. He couldn't walk. So I had to take him into urgent care on Sunday. And guess what it was? 
gout. It's gout. <laughs> but actually, it wasn't gout, gout. You know, the doctor, uh, shout out to Dr. Chow, um, who, by the way, looked like, um, like maybe like 20 years younger than me. <laughs> I'm like, who is this kid? You know, I felt like asking him for ID, you know, and, you know how'd you sneak in here, buddy? Anyways, a really cool uh, doctor, and he said, it's actually, you know, he said it was gout right away when he saw his leg. Uh -huh. And he looked at me, and he's like, do you think it's gout? And I'm like, yeah, I think it's gout. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's like, has he had gout before? And I said, yeah, he had it like over 30 years ago. So anyways, they, they gave him a shot. The swelling went down. He, uh, and they took some x-rays, and sure enough, he's got like, um, like some sort of like calcium crystals growing how did that happen? Um, how that with, happened? and so he comes back the doctor comes back and he says you know yeah we found you know that crystal deposits and it's actually it's not gout it's pseudo gout of a different form oh, wow. of gout that happens in the knee and okay. and i looked that up and there's literally like the causes are like unknown it could be diet it could be this it could be that it's like one of those things like um like all those that, beans like he's been like, buying. All those beans he's been buying from Foil, Juan Foil. <clears throat> Look, he eats a lot of sugar. I told him to cut that shit out, and uh, maybe that's what it was. But uh, anyways, he's fine now. They gave him a steroid shot, basically that lasts mm -hmm. for like three days. But he he does need to go to like a like a sports doctor, like a a knee specialist or something, because he's gonna need some injections. Yeah, in his. Um, in his knee. Ouch. Hey, so I was thinking since we're talking about, you know, eating foods, I was thinking of taking the um, low carb challenge, mm -hmm. like just for a week and see <clears throat> how, next week how much I weigh and see. A week? You yeah. know, you've done low, you've done low carb before. Yeah. It takes a week for that to kick in. Oh. You know, you should do it for a month. Oh, shoot. Okay. Do you want to, you, no. want, you want me to join you? Yeah, you want to join it? We'll weigh ourselves and we'll oh, shit. write in the book. Here we go. We'll weigh ourselves and write in the book. Oh man, I didn't book. want to do this, and I I'm the one who brought it up. What the hell's wrong with me? Okay, okay, we might do that. Yeah, we might. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might do that. We might do that. Yeah, we okay. might. Okay. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for uh, for watching. Thank you for listening. You We're still like available. Speak. We're still available on all platforms. Hey, how many listeners, listeners do we have now? Listeners? I, mean, I don't watchers. know how many people are listening. These watchers? Oh, I don't man. know how many people are watching us right oh, now. Man. Come on. No, not now. I mean, gee. We need a thousand just so we can go live. We, we want to get up to a thousand so we can, you know. If we, we go, okay, a question. So we can afford color. Oh, yeah. If we go live. Okay, question to you. So we get a thousand listeners. Question to me. And then we go live. So if we go live, will you stop doing these cameras? Because we're going to be live on YouTube. And it'll just be <clears> there. No, no. We'll have a camera. It's okay. it's what's known as a, like, a Wi-Fi camera. Okay. so Actually, that can hook up to, to, to this camera right here. Uh -huh. So you won't... And uh, it'll be one in the same. So I'm just saying, well, my question is, like, we you won't have to edit and do all that stuff anymore if we go live. Well, no, no. Oh, that's another thing. You know, we were a little behind on our on our episodes. And if you guys saw our, our last episode uploading, you know, only 10 minutes of it went up. And then uh, technical difficulties, all right? I don't need to explain anything. Uh, I see some of the big shows having technical. similar problems. You know, all of a sudden the show ends or it blacked out or something happened. I mean, you know, these things are going to happen. Do you and, think it's a timing, uh, like the time that you want to do it? You know what? I'm blaming it all on the Mercury retrograde. Okay, that's it. We can just leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to ask? Do you think it's the timing? What? Yeah, the timing. Uh, I think there is a specific time when you upload to, to YouTube. There, there might be like a lot of traffic. Oh, okay. A lot of videos being uploaded. So... Yeah, you know, sometimes you'll upload something and it, it won't go through or it'll take a lot longer. And uh, anyways, so, you know, we'd go through some stuff. But hey, did you see the preview to the new Elvis movie? No, but did you know the SAG Awards were yesterday? I, didn't, I wish I would have known. I would have wanted to watch it. No. <laughs> and the only reason I know the SAG Awards was on because I see people posting pictures of the SAG Awards. Well, look, okay. The winners and stuff. And I'm like, oh, man, that's <sighs> one of the awards I like to watch. Well, look, I mean... Hopefully it's on Hulu. You know, I, I, we don't want to get 
political or sad, but you know, we know what's going on in the world right now, and I'm a little distracted, to be honest. You know, so SAG Awards was, you know, not on my mind, and, you know, I hope you guys read our thing about Universal Yums. Yeah, uh, I out the Russian box. Well, they're, they're giving you an option, you know, if you want the Russian box, if you don't, you can switch it. But a lot of folks were saying, you know, I still want it because there's still a lot of, you know, Russian people who are not for, you know, this war and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. so anyway, shout out to Universal Yums. So we, we might even we might even uh, bring it back. <laughs> we did that for did what? Two years. Did you cancel it? I didn't cancel it. <laughs> I'm saving the boxes for myself. The last one was, uh, France. was France and it wasn't that great. So <laughs> why is cancel it. If you can't share it with me on the show, then it's not worth having. Uh, yes it is. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I might bring what the you, next what one you do in, so. is for the sh What you do is for the show. Oh, yes. Everything I do is it's for, for the show. show. Like, I was going to go to this OC record show, you know, for this show. And, and I, I was going to go with him. And he was going to go, and, you know, things happened, and... The, your the, dad the, and my ass. So. Yeah, yeah, my dad, your ass, and I guess that makes me an asshole, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I didn't uh, get to go, but it's the last Sunday of every month. Oh, it is, so you can go. Yeah, now. so I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go this month. Uh, I believe it's like the 27th, so we'll, we'll do it again. Yeah. And uh, anyway, speaking of records, let me just do a quick uh, vinyl moment, everybody. Vinyl moment, all right. Sorry, As everybody. Gracie yawns. On purpose because she's such a hater of the vinyl moment. If this was her idea, folks, and now she doesn't like it. No, my idea was a uh, vinyl collectible, vinyl collectible. I haven't done a collectible in so yeah, long. She doesn't have any collectibles. I've got some collectibles for you, Gracie. I actually bought you some collectibles. Stay tuned at the end of the show, you guys. <gasps> really? All right? Along with the uh, Girl Scout cookie child. Anyways, vinyl stuff. Vinyl, let's get to the vinyl. Alright, I got two very different two? different records. Two very different records. Uh, I already showed this group on here. I showed a different version of this album. This album turned uh, oh, 30 years old uh, last year. It's uh, Cypress Hill 1. I showed uh, an alternative cover that came with their, their uh, comic book. Uh, autobiography and this is the special edition 30th anniversary of their first album uh, like it says 1991 right there only 1991 copies were made Wow, well, how much you pay for that one? and I've got copy number 1315 and you how much did you pay there. for that one? And I believe it was thirty dollars. Oh, so it's the thirtieth yeah. anniversary. And let me open this up because, as I mentioned before, Gracie used to work at a place that made jackets. jackets. So I would like you to look at this jacket and tell me what you think. I actually work in the office, not like I work in the warehouse. Well, but you you still have an opinion. Um, this has a nice little Obi strip here. That's what you call that. Let me take that off. It looks really cool, by the way. That's awesome, you guys, right there. Classic, classic. So go ahead and take a look at that. Oh, wow, it's nice and thick. Mm hmm. Oh, wow, check the inside. Is that all their songs that are, you know, in here? Actually, I think the, the, the original album didn't have this. This is like, um, kind of like a, a foreword by, uh, by DJ Muggs. So these guys are rappers? Uh, yeah, these guys are rappers. <laughs> Cypress Hill. Um, yeah, from uh, just just right up the street over here at Southgate. Oh, they're from Southgate, too? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, anyways, there it is. I'm going to have to listen to some of their music. And um, it comes on, it's a red and black marbled uh, vinyl. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Looks very they're like they're really doing a lot cool. with these vinyls now, huh? Making them different colors and all that kind of stuff. Like in my days, they were all just black. Yeah, I mean, Do I they sound as good as the ones that were printed. Yeah, like they sound they sound the same. You know, there's some videos out there that do comparisons, and then there's theories that no, they don't sound as good. The thing is, is that black is a color. 
because the real color is, I mean, they're clear. Oh, I see. They have to add the black to it. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know, this is just, you know, other colors. But um, I never buy anything just because it's a colored vinyl. I mean, it's just a little bonus, pretty much, that makes it look cool. So we go from that, be, in, because Actually, we're now we're in March. Yeah. This is, uh, this is Women's uh, History Month. Oh, it is. All right. Um, I think I mentioned this last year, and Gracie didn't remember either. I don't know any of that. And uh, so anyways, to celebrate that, I brought in this masterpiece right here. This is uh, Carol, Carol King Tapestry. Oh, shit. You know what's funny? I was just going to say, is it Carol King? Yeah, it's Carol King Tapestry. This is the Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. This is the, um, the One Step, the MoFi One Step limited edition this was um limited to i feel the earth move under my feet very nice uh this is limited to ten thousand copies gracie and i got nine thousand seven hundred and twenty so yeah these just came out they just came out they started shipping them uh like a couple weeks ago and i just got mine do you want to open it or no no let me show that. Anyways, uh, yeah, just to clear up, I mean, it's um, it's Mobile Fidelity Sound Labs uh, One Step Super Disc. Uh, I don't want to get all technical about it because Gracie will start yawning even more than she is now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But what does it mean? It's a it's a high quality sounding piece, um, and uh, it comes in this beautiful box. It's limited edition. It's collectible. Uh, no, I didn't buy it to resell it. I bought it to keep it. They sold out like that. Really? And I was, I'm lucky to, to, get have, to, to get one. And the one thing that's such a drag is the people that just buy them. To sell them. To resell them because they will double in price. Um, my question to you is that... Um, Look at that. Have you got it? And what's your next record, your next LP from that um, prescription that you're getting? I believe it's a, a, a Modest Mouse uh, record. Uh, Modest Mouse. Modest Mouse. Uh, okay. I'll check though. And I'll feature it next month. <laughs> yeah, so we have the Yums, a prescription of Yums and a prescription of albums. Vinyl Me Please, you're talking about. Yes. I hope you enjoyed that episode of uh, where we. Uh, what did we do in the last episode? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no, the Chicago Pizza, the one we just had so much trouble uploading. Oh, yeah. But, that pizza and, was really good. So, Gracie, I want to redo this cover. You know, like with you. With me? Or me. Mm -hmm. You know, with our producer. Oh, yeah, huh? You know, we oh, could I do see. that. We could put the, our producer and, you know, just kind of sit right there by the, the window. window. Oh, yeah. I guess I can do that. I'll that curl, that I'll was. Curl, I'll curl my hair. That was her cat. Really? I believe. But, anyways, yeah, haven't opened it. Haven't opened it. Can't wait. Ultra disc, one step, super vinyl. There it is, guys. Vinyl moment. <laughs> and uh, thanks for tuning in. We're going to take a little break. Don't go away. That's right. Get my cookies ready. Getting those cookies ready. Cookies ready. Oh, boy. Yes, we are back. Back to the going nuts with Glenn and Gracie. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, so you feel better, Gracie? You know, after having the such a bad stomach ache or whatever? Well, I've been farting and nothing's gushing out of my ass. Oh, like gross, I gross. What a, what a great way to start the second half, everybody. And speaking of, like, uh, diarrhea, uh, Girl Scout cookie time. That's uh, right. Welcome to the Girl Scout cookie challenge. Um, Gracie, do you want to explain what this is? Well, what I did is I went to Walmart and bought the same cookie as Girl Scout sell. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give the challenge to Glenn. I'm going to blindfold him and I'm giving him a cookie. And he needs to tell me which one, which one is Walmart and which one is the Girl Scout cookies. Okay. And see if there's actually a difference. Okay. So are you ready to do this, Glenn? Sure, why not? Let's get this okay. shit over with. Okay, well, I want you to be blindfolded because I don't want you to see what I'm... Uh, right. What cookies I'm going to use. And I'm basic I basically have to tell you, okay, this one's Walmart, this one's... Uh, right. Girl Scouts of America brand. Is that how that works? Yeah. Okay. 
So, oh shit, okay, I let me put the blindfold on. I should have put them on a plate, so this way, yeah. Which is like, you sized it for a oh, that eight year old. That wasn't even sized. Is that the ice cream man outside? Dun, 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 dun. Yep, his front door must be open. All right, well, here we go. Can you see? Can he Can't see? Can't see anything. Can he see? Nope. Can't see nothing. Okay, so okay. are you ready? Are you Here's ready? Go. Let's do this. Okay. These are the lemonades. Okay? Okay, lemonades. Here's the first one. You're just going to give it to me in my hand? Yes, I am. Okay, and lemonades. I'm going to let them know what it is. Okay. And you're showing them what it is? Yeah. Okay, I'm eating the first lemonade. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll wait till you finish and swallow and give you another one. Okay, I'm going to set it aside. Okay. Here's the, the next one. <clears throat> okay. Eating the second. Tastes exactly the same. <laughs> really? Exactly the same. Okay. Okay, so, so that tells you now do so, so am I supposed to guess now? Um, yeah, if you want. Well, how does this game work? Well, okay, what did, what did you which one do you think is the Girl Scout cookie one? Then I'm gonna go with the second one. Well, folks, you all saw it. He's wrong. Okay, the second one was was Walmart. Yes, like I said, they taste exactly the same. Exactly the same. <laughs> how many of these are we doing? Um. Five. Five? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I don't know this five here. Okay. Try this one. Okay, what's what's next? Here's this one. What's it called? This is called the fudge mint. Oops, I just lost one on the ground. This is the fudge mint. Yes, fudge mint. Okay. My nephew was all excited because Girl Scout cookies. I need to buy some. I said, well, I don't know if you should buy some. I have a bunch. Okay. Okay. Are you giving me the other one? Yes, I'll be giving you the other one right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Taste exactly the same. <laughs> okay, so which did you think is what? I'm going to go with the first one that you gave me is the Girl Scout cookie. Wrong again. All right. O for two. These are fudge. Fantastic. These are, these are fudge covered peanut butter. Fudge covered peanut butter. Yeah. Okay. That's the name of the cookie. Yep. All right. Okay, there's the first one. The second one. I know, sir. I should, I should open all these up before I. Oh, man. I was not very well prepared no, I'm not. for this challenge. She had the bandana ready. That's about it. And I forgot what this tasted like, for crying out loud. Yeah. So, here's so is the next one coming? Or, oh, yeah, okay. there it is. Yeah, finally. Did you have to go down the street and buy it? No, actually, I did. Okay. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna go with the uh, the second one is the Girl Scout cookie. You are correct. Wow. And this is the last one. Guys. Oh wow! Thank God. <laughs> Let me get them both open. I think I figured this out. What? Okay. What's the next one? The next one is the caramel delights. Caramel delights. Yeah. What happened to like Thin Mints and uh, it was in like Samoas or something like that? I could or? buy all, I could, I had a, I just had to buy the cookies that, um, that Walmart had. This is Caramel Delight, you yeah, said? Yeah, Caramel Delights. I didn't even know or they it had that. Or it could be a Caramel Coconut and Fudge. Okay. Wow. See, not a lot of difference in shape, too. Okay. I'm gonna go with 
This second one that I ate is Walmart. The first one was for the Girl Scout. Correct, Glenn. Got gotcha. you. So, and that's it, huh? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. So you oh got, my God. So you got like two right and that was it. So can I tell you what I was like, you know, figuring out? What? The Walmart cookies are a lot more heartier. They're 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 thicker. They have more filling. Uh huh. The Girl Scout cookies are more like crispy and like with less filling. Oh wow. That's what I what I got. But anyways, that was fun and delicious. Um, remember, I've got a pistachio brittle here too, guys. <laughs> um, medicated. Gracie's favorite. I sold uh, I sold uh, another jar this weekend. Oh really? Yeah. So you want to try some? No, I have a show. I have a show after this show. I have a show after this show. Gracie has a show after this show. And you want to give show. me stone? And uh, I don't know. Maybe that would uh, make the set interesting. I know. I did get stone one time. I totally messed up. Remember when we went to Huntington Beach? Yeah. I I so I said no more weed before I go on stage. I have a, Remember I had a show on Friday. Mm -hmm. But I had um he had booked too many comics. So um, I got bumped, mm -hmm. but I got now I have that show again this Saturday. So I'm cool. Back well, on the I'll, show. Go ch I'll go check that out, and then we're gonna do like a little uh, oh, really? a little video so you guys can see Gracie in action. Oh yeah, action. Uh, this was fun to be honest. Uh, eating uh, blindfolded. Would you ever do one of those blindfold um, or those dinners in the dark? Ooh, I don't know. I find, uh, you know what? I, I don't like fish that much, and I don't want anything fishy. So, I don't know. Would you? Yeah, I'm going to try it. Do, uh, do you get to see what the menu is, though? No. Oh, sh I don't like You don't know what they're giving you. You're in the dark. Oh. It's in front of you, and you just start eating. Oh, I don't know. It's nothing. They don't is have it, anything crazy. Oh, no. How, is it expensive? I think it is. Oh. I have to look that up. Yeah. But, you know, um... What? How did? How did I do? I mean, did you think I was gonna get get them all wrong? No, did I you... thought you were gonna get them all right. Oh man, sorry, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, maybe I should do it to you now. Oh yeah, you can do something with me. Yeah, with, you like think with, so? with chips, like you know, off brand chips. And oh okay. Chips. I don't know. Yeah, we could do something like that. I'll, 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 I think, I'll think of a little uh, Pepsi challenge. Yeah, I think for of Gracie. Like sodas, I wouldn't know to be honest. If you gave me a Pepsi and gave me a Coke. I wouldn't tell. I wouldn't know which is which since I don't drink soda that often. You know, the Pepsi challenge was bogus because the thing is, is everybody knows that Pepsi is a little sweeter than Coke. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. I've always noticed that. And, you know, blindfolded, you know, you'll you'll drink the, the you know, the sweeter one and right away you'll think that Pepsi? one's better. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's like over the long haul, you know, you probably want the the less sweeter beverage. I don't know. Uh, I stay away from soda. Yeah, yeah. was that fun? I make my own soda. Yeah, that's pretty good. So was that fun? It was fun. Thank you. It's kind of expensive, huh? <laughs> I don't know how much. I don't even know how much. I paid $25 for Girl Scout cookies. Oh, man. But I, but I did buy another box. I mean, another um, another one. Oh, I should have brought that out. This is like a regular one to try. It's new. Hold on. I'm going to get it. Sure. Why not? Yeah. And, um, uh, called, look at it. It's a new, it's a new cookie. Okay, so this is a, a new Girl, Girl, Girl Scout, Scout cookie. cookie flavor? Yeah, I've okay. never had this one. Cool. What's it called? It's called Adventurefuls. Oh, that's yeah. a cool name. Yeah. So should we try these? Yeah, let's try them since we're on the Girl Scout cookie thing. Okay. My sister's should dog we, is Should, should we give man. one of these to that dog over there? Just and, uh, shut him up? Oh. Is this double chocolate here? I know, triple chocolate. How mean. <laughs> I know. We are mean to this dog. We are not mean to that dog. We treat that dog like royalty, and he still acts like a pain in the ass. Yeah, he's like... Sorry. Okay, here we go. Adventure Fools. Oh, cute? these are cool. Want to hold those up to the to the studio audience, Gracie? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, let's see what they taste like. So well done, huh? Yeah. Mm. It's like a graham cracker, mm -hmm. right? With um, you know it's a brownie inspired cookie with caramel flavor, creme, and a hint of sea salt. It's 
pretty, pretty yeah. awesome. That's next level uh, Girl Scout cookie right there, yeah, if you ask me, good. right? Mm -hmm. Right there, Adventure Fools. Man, I have a lot of cookies to put in a cookie jar. So, yeah, delicious. <laughs> no, these are good. Huh. Oh, yeah. Well, did you did you hear about my TikTok video? I mean... What happened? Look, I, all I do on TikTok... Um, can you get that box just in front of my camera? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's blocking your shot? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, hey, what's up, Gracie? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting tired of TikTok. I mean, come on. First of all, they don't have, like, a good song selection. They don't have a good music selection. Oh, I never they, pick any of their music. You, you can't. All they have is sound clips. Yeah. Things like that. And for somebody like me, I like making videos. So they don't let you move your music. Like, if you do a TikTok on the... I mean, if you do, if you do a video on your social media, and then you move that video to the TikTok, TikTok won't let you put the music on? Huh? <laughs> Well, you're saying that TikTok doesn't have a, a good variety of music. <clears throat> but what I'm saying is that when you share, you share, and then you share to TikTok. And then it just downloads from your original. From what original? From your original video. That's how I do it every day with my question. Right, right. I do it on Snapchat, and then I share it automatically to TikTok. And then TikTok downloads it. That's what I'm saying to you, because you say they don't have that much music. But right. Aren't, but aren't you creating your video... On another um, no, platform? No, no. I was so I was about to explain how I did all this. Okay, sorry. And uh, basically, you know, I would I I edit on TikTok because they have a lot of cool stuff. Oh, okay. They have a lot of cool things. You could you know shrink your videos. You can shrink oh, your really? clips. Oh, wow. You can you know slow them down. You can put them in you know fast mode. Mm. And then they have like cool transitions. But they don't have cool music. You, they, they don't have they don't have music. They just have sound clips. So I want to you know edit my video to the uh, to the what's it called you know the uh, the rhythm of the song you know to be in sync with the song. And basically you can't do that on TikTok. But I found a way to to bypass that. <laughs> and uh, I'm not gonna say how I do it. But I've got a bunch of TikTok videos where I've got, you know, the song uh, of the album that I'm featuring. Is this the, the culprit here? Yes. <laughs> give him a cookie. Give him uh, no, I'm not going to give him a cookie. You cannot give him a lemon have... cookie. Oh, yeah, you can have a lemon cookie. There you go, little buddy. Oh, he didn't even see it because he's blind now. now. <laughs> Great. Anyway, CBD... Uh... We need to give him some CBD treats. So anyways, I, I can now do these little uh, uh, vinyl videos and put the song that I want on there because I figured out how to do it. Oh, cool. Is what I was saying while you were out getting this damn mutt. <laughs> uh, and I don't want to say how I do it. I mean, I'll tell you how I do it, but I have several videos on there. I got Rolling Stones. Uh, I even put Miles Davis on there. And basically, <laughs> he's gonna go take a shit in her room. <laughs> out. Get your ass out. Oh wow! Did he? Did you catch him in time? Nope. <laughs> Anyways, I've got all these videos, and then I so I did Rick James. Oh. Okay, on Saturday. Uh huh. Awesome video, man! I did this little video. All I'm doing is, you know, just displaying the record and kind of doing a tribute to it for crying out loud you know i show the record spinning and you know i show yeah. the cover and all that kind of stuff oh, and look i'm not the only one who does this okay there's a bunch of people on tiktok who does this i follow this guy uh his name is one a day vinyl and he's way, his videos are way better than mine and he's got way more followers but anyways i do rick james a uh, cool video and uh, Mary Jane, and oh, because it was it, about it weed. It, it, they took it down because of weed. I don't know. Probably because of weed. Why? Because it's, isn't that like China does the TikTok? Maybe they don't. Um... Actually, you know what? They didn't even take down the video. They muted it. And, you know, they oh, sent right. me a message. Your video has been muted. Really? Yeah. They they took they took the sound off. Wow. Of my video. 
I'm looking at it and it's, you know, just silent. I didn't know There's they There's nothing did going that. on. Yeah, so I, I did something else, you know, where I put the, you know, the song on again at a lower volume. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, it's nope, up. nope, it happened again. Your video, your video has been muted. Oh, probably because of Rick James. Maybe Rick James never gave him permission. So maybe oh, that's probably why. So then, okay, so what I did is... Did you pick is, another Rick James song? No, I didn't. Oh. Maybe so you try let, doing that. No, I won't. What I did was, you can save the video from TikTok so that you could share it on Instagram, right? Yes. So before it got muted, I saved it. So I actually still have it. I'm going to see if I can upload it here. On YouTube. On YouTube. And, yeah. you know, it might, it, we might get banned on here too. <laughs> But the whole point is, is um, I ended up getting it, and I said I'm gonna post this on my Instagram story. And did it work? And it got banned in 12 countries. Oh wow! You did you see it this weekend on my stories? I even wrote. I, I said, was laying down, shitting and throwing up. Oh, that's it. right. So I wrote, video. you know, I said, hey, this video got taken off of uh, TikTok, so here it is for you guys on Instagram. And uh, a few people saw it and they responded to it, but I got a notice from Instagram, your video has been banned in 12 countries. Wow, so Rick James probably fucked some people up then, huh? Yeah, I mean, maybe he's like, you know, you know, rolling in his grave and saying, you know, they ain't gonna use, that, my mother song. that motherfucker ain't gonna use my, my song kid, to, my make kids his, not getting no to make his stupid TikTok motherfuckers. No residuals, <laughs> no, I'm not getting paid. Okay, but here's, here's the whole point, you know, like, okay, I'm not making any money off this shit, okay? I'm just making videos, yeah. okay? Why Why are you Why yeah. are you flagging me? Why are you taking my stuff down? In the case of Instagram, I mean, they offer music that you can use. Yeah. I've done that and made a really cool video and boom, I get banned. It gets, it gets taken down. And off Instagram? Off of Instagram and it's like, wait a minute, you offer this music. You offer this music, why are you taking it down? So you want to hear my, you know, ridiculous theory? Yes. My videos are just too good. All right? They're just too good. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram and TikTok are trying to stop my shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sucks. But no, it's, it's weird, you know, because it, they will take it down. I got a bunch of videos like that on my TikTok channel. You know, these little vinyl videos that are fun to make. It's why I do it. It's the only reason I have TikTok, uh, but that's what happened. I got banned uh, this weekend in 12 countries, and then in the case of TikTok, I got banned. I got muted. I got muted. So anyways. Sorry, Rick James. Sorry, Mr. Rick James. I didn't mean to offend. I'm just, I'm just uh, giving homage to the master. Cool okay, video, yes. man. Uh, you know, I see a lot of comics doing like little sketch videos. Do you think maybe I should do that? No. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are doing sketches, right? Yeah. You know, a whole lot of sketches. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead. You know, do it. Just make sure they're funny. Yeah, but you're going to have to film me, so you're going to let me know. Oh. That's the catch. Shit. Yeah, that's the only reason she hangs out with me is because <laughs> I film stuff. I'm the film guy. <laughs> He's the film guy. That's the only reason. That's the only reason I'm friends with him. So speaking of <laughs> films, Gracie, today, oh, yeah. Friday, first Friday in March, the Batman comes out, and you and I are going, are going to go see it. And uh, just to kind of celebrate, Gracie, I brought us a little gift. Oh really? Now everybody knows that I collect Funkos. Dressed in black. Oh yeah, everything he has is black. Yeah, we want to we want to do one of us. Yeah, I mean do, I mentioned it. To we him. do want to make our own Funkos. Uh, our Funkos coming soon, folks. You think they put it like in the same box? Like, soon. You think it'll be like two next to each other in the same box? I want my own box. What are you talking about, woman? Shoot. Oh really? I thought you wanted it with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted that. Funko to be with me. Shit, it would say going nuts. Going nuts with Glenn and Gracie. No, 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 look at it, look at it. And Glenn, you would be right here and Gracie. It's a set. It's a, it'll be yeah, a set. You, yeah, know, you exactly. gotta collect two. No, I want it to be one. I uh, know, I want my own box. Anyways, enough of that. Enough of that. Here we go. Uh, I found these. Oh. These are Target exclusives. So this is uh, Chris Pattinson. Bruce uh, or excuse Wayne. me, Rob Pattinson. <laughs> Chris. Oh. As, uh, as Bruce Wayne. Oh, wow. That's cool. 
in uh, all black. Here, let me hold, hold that okay. up to the to the camera because it's got that red logo on there. Oh, okay. That cool uh, red logo. And um, Ooh, that's cool. So yeah, we got that, and then we got a villain here. Uh, Oswald Cobblepot. That's supposed to be the penguin. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, because he does have a. He's a little an scar on his face. Umbrella. <clears throat> he's got an umbrella, does he? Yeah, he's holding the umbrella. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, he's holding the umbrella. So yeah, and, you know, dressed. So the penguin's back. Dressed all in but, black. But he doesn't look like a penguin. He doesn't. They're going for more of like this, uh, like a gangster. Oh, okay. You know, they're, they're you know, he's the, the penguin's a gangster. And you, did you buy it at the Funko Place? Oh, you bought him at Target. I bought him at Target this, oh, wow. mor this morning, and last but not least, you got the last three. Catwoman. Oh shoot! I, these were the only ones that were there. Oh really? The only ones. Did they have more? No, I got the last ones. Those are oh, the wow. only ones that were there. Oh, these are the only ones they're selling. Is actually these. No. Okay. No. Of, I know. of this. Yeah. There was no other Batman there. I got the last one. Oh okay. So yeah, there's a uh, Catwoman, Selena Kyle as um, Catwoman, uh, Robert Pattinson. This is gonna be Colin Farrell. Oh, go away. And uh, Zoe Kravitz as uh, as Catwoman, or as you know, uh, Selena Kyle right there. Uh, they didn't have any uh, Batmans, and there was no Riddlers. Oh, so you're only missing the two then? Sure, but I mean, Riddler doesn't wear all black. The oh, thing is, is true. that these fit right into my collection. Uh, collection cool. Uh, with their all black. And there you go, folks. The Batman is out now. And Gracie, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go see it. That's right. Right. We're going to go see this. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, everybody. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Thank you for listening. I'm Glenn Baker. I'm Gracie the Comedian. Yay. See you next time. Thanks.